1 Chronicles chapter 1. Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Henoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyrus. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Togarma. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. The sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Sabda, and Raama, and Sabteca. And the sons of Raama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod, he began to be mighty upon the earth. And Mizraim begat Ludim, and Anamim, and Lahabim, and Naphtim, and Pathrusim, and Kasluhim, of whom came the Philistines, and Kaphtharim. And Canaan begat Zidon his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite also, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvidite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathite. The sons of Shem, Elam, and Ashur, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Meshech. And Arphaxad begat Shelah, and Shelah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons, the name of the one was Peleg, because in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Almodad, and Shalef, and Hazarmaveth, and Jera. Hadoram also, and Uzal, and Dekla. And Ebel, and Abimael, and Sheba. And Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. Shem, Arphaxad, Shelah. Eber, Peleg, Ru, Sarug, Nahor, Terah, Abram, the same as Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. These are their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Neviot, then Keter, and Adbiel, and Mibsam, Mishma, and Duma, Masa, Hadad, and Tama, Jeter, Nephish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael. Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, Sheber Zimron, and Jikshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And the sons of Jikshan, Sheba, and Dedan. And the sons of Midian, Ephah, and Ephor, and Henoch, and Abida, and Aldea. All these are the sons of Keturah. And Abraham begat Isaac. The sons of Isaac, Esau and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ruel, and Jeish, and Halam, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman, and Omar, Zephi, and Gatam, Kenaz, and Timnah, and Amalek. The sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shama, and Mizah. And the sons of Seir, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Anna, and Disan, and Ezer, and Dishan. And the sons of Lotan, Hori, and Homam, and Timnah was Lotan's sister. The sons of Shobal, Alian, and Manahath, and Ebal, Shephi, and Onam. And the sons of Zibion, Aya, and Anna. The sons of Anna, Disan. And the sons of Disan, Amram, and Eshbon, and Ithron, and Sharon. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, and Zavan, and Jakin. The sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aaron. Now these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel, Bala the son of Baor, and the name of his city was Dinhaba. And when Bala was dead, Jobab the son of Zerah of Basra reigned in his stead. And when Jobab was dead, Hushim of the land of the Temanites reigned in his stead. And when Hushim was dead, Hadad the son of Bedad, which smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Abath. And when Hadad was dead, Samla of Masrekah reigned in his stead. And when Samla was dead, Shal of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And when Shal was dead, Balan and the son of Achbar reigned in his stead. And when Balanan was dead, Hadad reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Pi, and his wife's name was Mehedabil, the daughter of Matrid, the daughter of Mazahab. Hadad died also. And the dukes of Edom were, Duke Timnah, Duke Eliah, Duke Jetheth, Duke Aholabama, Duke Elah, Duke Pinyon, Duke Kenaz, Duke Temen, Duke Mibzar, Duke Magdil, Duke Iram. These are the dukes of Edom. 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verses 1 through 17. These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, 
Dan, Joseph, and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Ur, and Onan, and Shelah, which three were born unto him of the daughter of Shua the Canaanitess. And Ur, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. And Tamar his daughter-in-law bore him Perez and Zerah. All the sons of Judah were five. The sons of Perez, Hezron, and Hamul. And the sons of Zerah, Zimri, and Ethan, and Heman, and Calchal, and Dara, five of them in all. And the sons of Carmi, Achar, the troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the thing accursed. And the sons of Ethan, Azariah. The sons also of Hezron, that were born unto him, Jeremiel, and Ram, and Chelebi. And Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nashon, prince of the children of Judah. And Nashon begat Salma, and Salma begat Boaz. And Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jesse. And Jesse begat his firstborn Eliab, and Abinadab the second, and Shema the third. Nethaniel the fourth, Radai the fifth. Ozum the sixth, David the seventh. Whose sisters were Zeruiah, and Abigail. And the sons of Zeruiah, Abishai, and Joab, and Asahel, three. And Abigail bare Amasa, and the father of Amasa was Chetir the Ishmaelite. Acts chapter 23. And Paul, earnestly beholding the counsel, said, Men and brethren, I have lived in all good conscience before God until this day. And the high priest Ananias commanded them that stood by him to smite him on the mouth. Then said Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, thou whited wall, for sittest thou to judge me after the law, and commandest me to be smitten contrary to the law? And they that stood by said, Revilest thou God's high priest? Then said Paul, I wist not, brethren, that he was the high priest, for it is written, Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people. But when Paul perceived that the one part were Sadducees, and the other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, Men and brethren, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee, of the hope and resurrection of the dead I am called in question. And when he had so said, there arose a dissension between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the multitude was divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel, nor spirit but the Pharisees confess both. And there arose a great cry, and the scribes that were of the Pharisees' part arose, and strove, saying, We find no evil in this man, but if a spirit or an angel hath spoken to him, let us not fight against God. And when there arose a great dissension, the chief captain, fearing lest Paul should have been pulled in pieces of them, commanded the soldiers to go down, and to take him by force from among them, and to bring him into the castle. And the night following the Lord stood by him, and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou bear witness also at Rome. And when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together, and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. And they were more than forty which had made this conspiracy. And they came to the chief priests and elders, and said, We have bound ourselves under a great curse, that we will eat nothing until we have slain Paul. Now therefore ye with the counsel signify to the chief captain that he bring him down unto you tomorrow, as though ye would inquire something more perfectly concerning him, and we, or ever he come near, are ready to kill him. And when Paul's sister's son heard of their lying in wait, he went and entered into the castle, and told Paul. Then Paul called one of the centurions unto him, and said, Bring this young man unto the chief captain, for he hath a certain thing to tell him. So he took him, and brought him to the chief captain, and said, Paul the prisoner called me unto him, and prayed me to bring this young man unto thee, who hath something to say unto thee. Then the chief captain took him by the hand, and went with him aside privately, and asked him, What is that thou hast to tell me? And he said, The Jews have agreed to desire thee that thou wouldest bring down Paul tomorrow into the council, as though they would inquire somewhat of him more perfectly. But do not thou yield unto them, for there lie in wait for him of them more than forty men, which have bound themselves with an oath, that they will neither eat nor drink till they have killed him, and now are they ready, looking for a promise from thee. So the chief captain then let the young man depart, and charged him, See thou tell no man that thou hast showed these things to me. And he called unto him two centurions, saying, Make ready two hundred soldiers to go to Caesarea, and horsemen threescore and ten, and spearmen two hundred, at the third hour of the night. And provide them beasts, that they may set Paul on and bring him safe unto Felix the governor. And he wrote a letter after this manner. 
Claudius Lysias unto the most excellent governor Felix sendeth greeting. This man was taken of the Jews, and should have been killed of them, then came I with an army, and rescued him, having understood that he was a Roman. And when I would have known the cause wherefore they accused him, I brought him forth into their council. Whom I perceived to be accused of questions of their law, but to have nothing laid to his charge worthy of death or of bonds, and when it was told me how that the Jews laid wait for the man, I sent straightway to thee, and gave commandment to his accusers also to say before thee what they had against him. Farewell. Then the soldiers, as it was commanded them, took Paul, and brought him by night to Antipatris. On the morrow they left the horsemen to go with him, and returned to the castle. Who, when they came to Caesarea and delivered the epistle to the governor, presented Paul also before him. And when the governor had read the letter, he asked of what province he was. And when he understood that he was of Cilicia. I will hear thee, said he, when thine accusers are also come. And he commanded him to be kept in Herod's judgment hall. Psalms chapter 3. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Selah. I laid me down and slept, I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people, that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for Thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheek bone, Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord, Thy blessing is upon Thy people. Selah, Proverbs 18 verses 14 through 15. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge.